was a dark, dark room. And in that dark, dark There was a dark, dark cupboard. And in that dark, dark cupboard, there was a dark, dark shelf. And on that dark, dark shelf, a dark, dark box. And in that dark, dark box, there was a cupcake! Ghost with one black eye. I am the ghost with one black eye. That cowboy gulped, choked on his jaw, his face turned purple, his eyes bulged out. He jumped out of the bath, wrapped in a towel, and skedaddled out of town like a jackrabbit across the prairie. <laughs> the room sat vacant for more years until a U.S. Marshal drove into town in a newfangled automobile instead of on a horse. He asked Grandpappy for a room, this, but this was the busy season, and guess what? There was only one room left, and Grandpappy explained it was haunted. That's just fine, said the marshal. I've killed 37 men, been shot 12 signs, times, built by a rattlesnake twice, and gargled with turpentine every morning. I'm not too concerned about some silly ghost. So he went up to his room, but sooner had he closed the door when he heard, I'm the ghost with one black eye. I'm the ghost with one black eye. He turned and smashed right through the door, leaped the entire flight of stairs, picked up his automobile, and ran out of town screaming and hollering at the top of his lungs. A couple of years after that, in the early 1900s, a family was passing through town on a family vacation. Any idea how many rooms were left? One? No. There were two rooms left, but the mother and father wanted their own room, and their young son could have his own. Grandpappy told them about the ghost, but the boy just said, wow, a real ghost? Cool. The mom and dad went to their room, and the boy opened his up. He took a bath, got ready for bed, and hopped in. Just then he heard, I am the ghost with one black eye. I am the ghost with one black eye. And the boy hollered back, well, I'm a little boy, and you don't scare me. If you don't shut up, you're going to be the ghost with two black eyes. <laughs>